When round his head the oriole clings, and he is clothed in white, I'll take his hand and go with him to the deep wells of light. As unto a stream we will step down and bathe there in God's sight, we too will stand beside the shrine, the cult withheld untrod, whose lamps are stirred continually with prayer sent up to God, and see our old prayers granted melt each like a little cloud, we too will lie in the shadow of that living mystic tree within whose secret growth the dove is sometimes felt to be. While every leaf that his plumes touch saith his name audibly, and I myself will teach to him, I myself lying so, the songs I sing here which his voice shall pause in, hushed and slow, and find some knowledge at each pause, or some new thing to know. Alas, we too, we too, thou sayest, yea, one, wast thou with me, that once of old, but shall God lift to endless unity the soul whose likeness with thy soul was but its love for thee. We too, she said, will seek the groves where the Lady Mary is, with her five handmaidens, whose names are five sweet symphonies, Cecily, Gertrude, Magdalene, Margaret, and Rosalys. Circle-wise sit they, with bound locks and foreheads garland, into the fine cloth-like flame, weaving the golden thread to fashion the birth robes for them who are just born being dead. He shall fear haply and be dumb. Then will I lay my cheek, to his and tell about our love, not once abashed or weak, and the dear mother will approve my pride and let me speak. Herself shall bring us hand in hand to him round whom all souls kneel, the clear ranged unnumbered heads bowed with their aureoles, and angels meeting us shall sing to their citherns and citoles. There will I ask of Christ the Lord thus much for him and me, only to live as once on earth with love only to be. As then a while, forever now, together I and he, she gazed and listened, and then said, less sad of speech than mild, all this is when he comes, she ceased, the light thrilled toward her, filled with angels in strong level flight. Her eyes prayed, and she smiled, I saw her smile, but soon their path was vague in distant spheres, and then she cast her arms along the golden barriers, and laid her face between her hands, and wept, I heard her tears.